just in case you've forgotten what I look like, well, my name is Simon and here is the motorbike. It is now the 23rd of April, uh, Friday. It's my last night before I've got to go on holiday to Tunisia. I've put the uh, ignition all back on. Um, these bolts are only loose. I have now fixed the donkey engine, the reduction gearbox and the alternator. Let's see how that goes on. Belt tensioner seems to work fine. It's got a lock nut on it. Uh, that little oil thing, uh, that little tape there, just to remind me there's no oil in the reduction gearbox. Um, this is the, uh, it's in effect the starter clutch. Um, technically speaking, it's meant to run in a bath of oil, but I've greased it up. Uh, but I've also seen a way that we could machine some seals in there. That I've realised, uh, this is the clutch, I've just realised that it's um, painted with normal paint. And that's got to be resprayed with high temperature paint because that gets just a little bit hot. Gearbox is all done. Um, I'm now going to go and get the frame and put it on, which is quite a significant uh, part of the operation. Um, because then once you've got the frame on, you've only got to put the wheels on and you've got a rolling chassis waiting for the bit of paint, chrome and handlebars. So I'm going to go and get the frame on and uh, I'll get back to it in a minute. And there we have a one frame for the use of. Just got to buy some longer 10mm bolts. Um, seems to fit okay. And I'll see if I can get this uh, off now and see if we can get the uh, steering gear in and then I might just go and do my packing not bad at all almost looks too clean and I've had a bit of luck because the discs have arrived nice and shiny the stainless steel ones come up very well indeed slight problem with a BMW disc it was warped to buggery. Um, they made a nice job of it but it's um, a little on the thin side. Now we've got a running motorbike uh, we have to deal with the cosmetics. Uh, the bike is essentially taken off the engine, frame painted, everything bead blasted, all the brackets finished, new bolts put in and all the little smaller items like the wiring loom, hydraulic system for the front and rear brakes. Uh, Monday evening, the date is on the tape which is the second. Um, what I've managed to do so far is I've figured out how to put these footrests back on. I've done the, uh, the bearing for that, so that works an absolute treat, I have to say. Rewelded this arm, I've moved it through about 30-40 degrees. Um, that means it doesn't foul on the new bit of the swinging arm so I've taken the old bearings out of it I haven't put the new ones in yet that goes on there it's a bit tricky the clutch cable will uh, go into the end of that that's an 8mm bolt drilled out that gets welded onto there or there you'll find out in a minute and then they'll actuate the clutch arm on there and it's been welded on a slight angle so the finished article Pull in the clutch lever. Doesn't move particularly far, but um, it certainly works. That's in gear, and when you pull the clutch in, it disengages fine. Today is a Wednesday, the 4th of June. Uh, all I've done tonight, so to speak, is we have polished the handlebars, come up quite nicely. Um, I've polished, uh, this is the throttle body, um, and on the original Kawasaki triples, um, they had a choke lever on here. This is like a 1969 vintage throttle body, and the choke lever works like that. But this doesn't operate the choke. Um, I've made, uh, that's a little bit of stainless steel, there you go, thread bolt turned down. Uh, a nut on there to clamp it. That's a bit of the stainless steel tube we use for the throttle cables. And uh, that's just a coupling. That's the cable all the way down here. 
Uh, I had to make a uh, flipping uh, cable adjuster come up quite nicely and it goes into the donkey engine carburetor that goes on there, a little rubber sleeve uh, this will tuck under there when I uh, just redo it and this will now operate the throttle new donkey engine exhaust pipe somehow I've got to get this in here but if one puts that around about there it's sort of uh, it doesn't fit too badly noting that all of uh, this side is swinging arm the wheel doesn't actually start till here so I've got quite a bit of meat there I can hopefully get that exhaust pipe in there's not much room left on the bike for the fuel tank there's a dummy fuel tank at the top tailpiece is too small the airbox area is taken by the donkey engine there was however a little bit of space between the engine blocks themselves and the fuel tank is a stainless steel water pipe thin wall uh, that slots between the bottom four crankcases I'm just going to slide this here fuel tank in for a long drive we have a couple of new arrivals in Shedland <coughs> front wheel oh shit nearly front wheel number one and why we tri trip over that jack again yeah back wheel number two Alloy rims, stainless steel spokes, big thick ones, they're about 4 or 5 mil thick those spokes. Front fork standard gold wing, not strong enough to take the weight of the bike in compression. The rear suspension units were off a Harley Davidson aftermarket, at which you can increase the air pressure in, they're air assisted. And here is the wheel spindle which I had nickel plated and when I got it back uh, this sleeve wouldn't fit on this has got the seal that screws into the hub so I uh, rather optimistically just machined out that uh, centre there and of course when I've come to put the spindle in the wheel um, the nickel plating has made it a little bit thicker and it's such a tight fit uh, I've had to turn this down on the lathe just to scrape off the nickel plating that then goes on there, in here, that screws in there, voila, and then we're ready. I had to get the springs to compress quite a bit, um, but that's in now. Um, sorry, the front wheel left to come off again, but the forks are in. I've just run the... Uh, Sister, all the pipe work for the uh, injector system that goes on there, and I'm just starting to run the main fuel lines. That's the main fuel pump. The injector pump is uh, under there. These are the cables coming out for it, and that's the fuel pipe going in. I've made some special headers up. Um, didn't need to make that one. I've got some plastic ones there, but um, I do need uh, some specials for the top which are these they um, they're made out of brass tubing and a brass body which is drilled out right that is the end of the evening's activities we now have one hot one cold got my hand on it earlier two aluminium collars that's the bit of pipe coming up that collar will go on there nice tight fit and then this collar <coughs> slots in there nice tight fit and then uh, we can um, weld this pipe 
onto the uh, existing downpipe. 11.30ish on the 11th of June. Um, I've covered the pipes in black tape to stop them getting scratched and uh, apart from the final weld which is just down there um, the right hand pipe is fixed with a bracket which is just there the uh, left hand pipe I have to do a bit of pipe strangling on that not the prettiest of jobs um, I'll do the final weld which is just down there and put the bracket on which will be just about there now, Friday morning, Friday the 13th, three weeks to go today. Um, this is the left hand exhaust manifold. Now attached to that, that will slip off, but I'm just going to weld the last bits up and then that's done. I'll probably just bead blast this for now and get it polished later. Okie dokie, exhaust pipe on. It's going to have to come off again. Because the outlet's pissing under the frame, there you go. Ignition box wired up, just needs a bit of spiral wrap on it. Um, I haven't done the start button, but uh, here we go. Throttle's up here and stop button's up here. the carbs are on now and this is going to go on there as my uh, handlebar grip obviously needs a little bit of machining done first thing I'm going to do is to rig a big hole down the middle so it will slot on the thing and then I can make a dummy holder for it to put in a lathe and turn it down so this is going in here 20 to 1 and there's the basic shape. It is big enough to get your hand round. Can't touch it, it's a bit hot. And um, I'll tidy that up tomorrow night and put my knurling machine on it. And that'll be our grip done. Right, ladies and gentle persons, we have a result. One twist grip with one little cap and it just goes on the end there. I was going to spray it black but uh, I thought that looked so nice on its own. I might leave it as aluminium. It's a little bit dirty. Um, this slips on. Where's he gone? This slips on here. Let's go in there. And then that goes on the handlebar. Here we are. And that will go in there for the uh, throttle. Ooh. Hey, it's long enough. <laughs> 